Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your extended. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, please go ahead and watch that first because this one will make a lot of more sense because I already did like a full reading this morning about how this is going, okay? So what we were talking about is how do, how do you live in your mind space, uh, Pisces? Are you living in scarcity or in abundance? So it's as easy as sometimes thinking of yourself in an empty room and do you feel empty and lost and alone or do you feel abundant just with yourself, okay? So this is the way of thinking and this has a lot, they told me, it has a lot to do with you um, living in the space of things that cannot be taken away from you, okay? So this is coming back into play. We worked on this quite a few weeks back and now this plays into that, okay? Everything is connected. Everything is connected, okay? Uh, the Seven of Cups came in a lot. This is saying that you have multiple of choices, maybe even more choices than you've ever thought in your life, okay? And it says that Spirit is with you at all times. Underneath the deck, which I didn't show this morning, which I'm showing you now, was uh, Stand Your Ground, which is actually the Seven of Wands, okay? So this is saying... Um, you've persevered through this, okay? You've you've climbed the mountain, and you're at the top, and you are, look, look at this figure, okay? Look at this figure, victory, okay? The darkness is coming, you're coming out of darkness, light is coming through, and this is where you, exactly where you need to be, Pisces, exactly where you need to be. Okay, so we're going to look at um, what else Spirit would like to tell you right now, okay? Thank you so much for your support, for being here. Appreciate you uh, immensely. Absolutely. Okay. I'm here to empower you as uh, and the Pisces Collective. And if you have Pisces in your chart, even if you don't have Pisces in your chart and you just suddenly said, well, I'm going to watch this, see what this chick's about, and you feel inspired to follow this, you go for it. You have Pisces within you. You have the light of spirit. So, okay, look at this desert. <laughs> we had this for the week, okay, in our August reading, this is what we had. We had desert passage, didn't we? Yes, we did, I'm sure of it. Trust that there's a divine plan. So right away, it's telling you. Everything that you're going through now, even this great empty space that you're feeling between your ears, inside of your head, in your actual life, this is all part of the plan, okay? You can sit in total contentment, happiness, and joy, knowing that this is part of the plan, okay? I want you to look inside of yourself and say, what now, spirit, what now, okay? And when you say spirit, I'm talking that you're talking to yourself, not just the spirits that surround you, the one that connects you to them, okay? The oneness that is, okay? I want you to ask out there, what now? What do you want me to see? What can I do in this wonderful space that I've now cleared and opened up to everything I really want to put in it, okay? Imagine you bought a brand new house with nothing in it, and now comes the task of putting the most wonderful things, happiness, joy, love, a nice little table for the corner. <laughs> so it is time. It is time to get clear. You had both cards of straight up breakthrough, the arrow and the blade, both on a point. Okay, find your direction and go towards it. You're getting out of that cursed way of thinking, this curse card, okay? That's gone. A lot of three, six, nine. Three, six, nine to me is also the wheel of, when you see these things, when you feel these things, you're going within the vibrational pattern of the universe of where you're supposed to be going, okay? It's just telling you you're heading in the right direction. Right, cleansing waters. Oh, I love that. Okay, first of all, we are water Pisces. We are the emotion. We are the cleansing. This is a cleansing. This is a checkpoint of cleansing yourself. Purification activa activates vibrant life force. Absolutely. Look at that lotus flower, open and beautiful. Look at you floating and in calmness, okay? Your ears are underwater. You can't hear anymore. 
The only thing you have total silence, uh, total space. Okay, this is a time to cleanse. This is a time to really let the cleansing settle in. You do the cleansing, but we rarely take the time to let it actually do its job or its work. We cleanse the space and then we move on directly to the next thing. Right now, this week, this precious, beautiful week, is for you to sit in it and not do anything with it. Not right away. Okay? They don't want you to jump into the next thing. They want you to ponder. They want you to sit in the loveliness of this space. Okay? And not let it turn into a curse of void or of scarcity. Okay? Of going, oh my God, everything's gone. There's nothing there. Yes, there's everything there, actually. Okay? And anything else you want to put in there? Well, that will be up to you to decide and to choose going forward. You're doing fine. Okay? This is the thing. You're exactly where you need to be. You're, exa you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You do it absolutely wonderfully fine. Okay? Surrendering to the journey. Ha! <laughs> Release control. Right. So that's exactly what I was saying. No coincidences. Thank you, Spirit. That's what I was saying. We jump into something right away. We go, oh, we got to fix this. We got to fill it, the, fill the space right away. We emptied it. Now fill it back up. No. Surrender to it. Okay? Just go on this beautiful journey and go, fine. Okay. Look. Moving on. See this? Usually the Six of Swords, he's on a boat going somewhere. But you're not in the blind here. Look at that. What's that? Yeah, you have the light of spirit within you. It's letting you know where you need to go, what you need to do. You have it within you. You're doing fine. Okay? So release control. Release trying to control this journey. Um in the way that you think it should be going. I'm going to go get my lights here. I'm usually prepared, but I'm not this today. But it's okay. You guys are going to wait for me. Um, I don't never go that far. My other tarot table is right beside me. It's in the same room. Did you guys know that? No? <laughs> All right. So let me shuffle these, the light sears. Oh. Okay. One fell out in the middle. I'm not going to keep it, but I'm going to let you know. The one that fell out was the Four of Swords. Make sure to rest a lot. Get a lot of rest, okay? Um, when we try to figure out things, we do um, put out a lot of uh, energy. So much energy, okay? We work so hard at things that sometimes we forget to get enough rest. Rest is so important. It is essential, and that's why we need to do it. And that's why it's not... It's a part of the life we live. It's a reset. It's a beautiful reset. It's also a reset for our bodies to go like kind of into the uh, unconscious and let the rest of us work. Okay? The unconscious mind, the spirit, everything we need, our dream state, everything. There's so much that happens and so little we know is what they're saying. Okay? All right. Let's see what we can get from these. Let's pull some tarot. These are such beautiful cards, you guys. Right? The, the judgment, I had already seen it in the, sh in the cut for the Four of Swords. And, right, so you're persevering right now past these uh, thoughts of... They both came out. So, past the thoughts of... You're releasing these thoughts of... Uh, this is so hard. And... and this 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 limiting this limiting stuff okay you are working hard you've been working hard for months some for years some forever Pisces okay let's face it sometimes we think we can pinpoint the time that this started and that we started doing our best work but you know um, a few times in my life I've gone back and said it was this point and then I can go back further and I go no actually it started there no it actually started there uh, spirit saying it started at birth everything that you go through has a reason and a meaning okay and it all applies some stick out to your brain but just because they don't doesn't mean that they're not important um, Let's get back to the Nine of Wands, though. The Nine of Wands is definitely persevering through all of this that you're doing, this 
the stuff, this release that you're bringing forward, okay? You've released so much. You've re you've changed things, you've released, you've reviewed, okay? You're at the point now where um, you're not done, but done for this this part of it, okay? You're back at the point where you're starting to think, hmm, what do I do next? What do I do now? And it's when you have empty spaces that that's the dangerous point, Spirit is saying. It's a dangerous point when you have all this empty space because then um, you that's when the disparaging thoughts come in sometimes, okay? Because when we're too busy to think about it, we just simply get on with the day. We get on with decluttering. We get on with life. We get on with whatever life throws at us. But if we have a moment in time when there's nothing there, we suddenly feel a little bit, uh, you know like the carpets getting shaken under our feet like what am I what am I doing here what am I supposed to be doing here okay so yeah with the queen of swords okay closely related but they're saying to the page of swords but it's not the page of swords it is the queen of swords the queen of swords is they want you to flip that page of swords where you're talking yourself into trouble <laughs> into these thoughts of making it true, oh my god, there's nothing left, and making it the truth, into the Queen of Swords where, um, you know, I've gotten through a lot worse than this, and this is great. I can I can really sit here above the clod, clouds, the clods. Oh, reminding me of my, my son when he was a baby, when he was reading um, clouds, he called it clods in the book. Anyway, when... Um, little off here, guys. Okay, so Queen of Swords, thinking thoughts, thinking thoughts of where you want to go, confidently and boldly going where you haven't gone before, okay, persevering through it. She's such a strength of character, the Queen of Swords. She knows where she wants to go. She knows, ultimately, the area that she needs to work on, okay? So this is all the area of rest, also moving forward. And uh, let me see here. What do I, What is that in here? Okay, so I see, for the very first time, I had never noticed this, amazing, because I've had this deck, like, for months and months and months. But she has a cup, almost imprisoned, underneath her seat. And this is telling me, the, the one of cups, okay, that we do, we do have, um, it's so funny that that's a cup filled with water. That is so weird. Okay, it's almost like she's protecting that one idea that she's had and she's really pondering it hard. Okay, it's almost in protection, in prison behind bars, but still there, still visible. Okay, if you really look closer, you can see that one opportunity there. Amazing Pisces. Okay, so what do you do with that? What do you do with that? Well, it's time to confidently know and figure out where you're going to apply this now. Okay. Wow, I'm blown away. I thought I saw everything on these cards. I completely missed that. <laughs> it is truly real. You do see something new every single time you look at things. That's why I love these cards. Whatever I need to see, I get to see. What a great gift. Right, okay. <laughs> Ace of Cups. There it is. There's the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, not reading backwards. Okay. Although these came out together like this. So, negative thoughts will keep you from your ultimate wishes and blessings. Absolutely. Okay. So, you have to run away. Right now, the Knight of Swords, he is running away from this. Okay. Okay. And it is time to get away from that. Okay, if, if there's something to get away from, that would be it. If you're going to speed off, speed off in the right direction. Okay, and make your dreams come true. Okay, because while you have that encaged right here, okay, this ace is going to be here. It's never going to become a blessing. Why? Because you're not letting it free okay so it is in this reading they're also telling you it's time okay it's time to speed things up 
get out of negativity, speed things up out of there to make your Ace of Cups happen so that you can turn it into the Nine. I know, I said sit in the quiet for a while. But once you do have the idea that you want to do, the things that you want to bring forth in happiness, in joy, okay, you can pick up speed on it. You can take off. But I do feel, like I said right at the beginning, this is speeding yourself away from this stuff. This 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 disparity, this this feeling of you know, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Yeah, get away from that, okay? That's the first thought that came through. And get away from that blocking yourself, too. I, it's just... Basically, all these cards, when they came out, they say pick a direction and follow it, okay? Pick a direction and follow it in the positive realm of things, where you need to be, where you want to go, and what you want to do. Ten of Cups, Happiness, and the Star. Okay, so this deck is really showing you, see? When you unblock, when you unblock what you need to unblock here, which is you, because when you look at her in the mirror, she's looking at herself, there's no blocks there. But that's what she's seeing, that's what's reflecting back. When you get out of this, okay, this stuff happens right here. Okay? Wish upon a star. I hear, I hear the Disney song. And it's not my favorite, you guys, okay, honestly. I've heard it way too much when I... <laughs> uh, heard it way too much uh, when you have a, a, a childhood that's interesting. And you hear, when you wish upon a star as a kid, you're thinking, right. So, but I am, like, double-time loudspeakers. They're, you know really putting it in there. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. So they say use the power of the mind. Use your power of your soul. Use the power of sending all your wishes out to the universe because you can truly make things happen. Okay? Reconnect with that lost little child who thought nothing could happen. Okay, now's the time. You've cleared out everything that needed to be cleared out, including those feelings of the childhood you've had, the bad relationships you've been in, anything that may have stopped you or curtailed where you wanted to go. Surrender to the journey and just, if need be, sit around wishing, okay? Putting your wishes in, putting in your wish list, writing it down. What have you always wanted? What have you always wished for? Pisces, okay? And then write them down as if that's your list of things that are you're going to be putting in your room. And then put them in your room, okay? Put them in your room. They always say, um, make as if you're already there, as if your wishes have already happened. Well, do that. Do that in your mind. What does your life look like? Okay? What are you bringing forth? What do you want? Okay, um, I, my husband and I have a little bit of land here, um, and it, it doesn't have much. We never had much time, always busy working, and we started, like, we had, we, we had some big logs left over when we ordered wood. They brought in some really large, like, tall standing logs, and we said, well, we would like to you know, make this a natural um, space in the yard. And we took some of these very big logs and created an outdoor shower. It is so nature wonderful. We put like a, a, a black solar shower bag out there. And we actually take beautiful showers in nature. And it's wonderful. And it is part of some of the things that I wished on. Um, building a more natural landscape, having a more natural area to be in, to live in, to be part of, in nature. 
and just like that the wood appeared because there were pieces that were much too large to burn and we couldn't cut them so we had to find uses for them so it's the universe that kind of came in and said here build yourself an enclosure with these wonderfully large logs and you know be part of nature so this is what I'm talking about this is my personal experience but it didn't take a lot of money to do this even though at first I thought well to get the materials it'll cost it didn't cost anything at all in the end we already had it it was already there okay surrender to the journey send out your wish list and see what comes back to you you'll be surprised on how many opportunities suddenly start appearing maybe not exactly as you would have envisioned it sometimes it's a whole lot better okay because to tell you the truth you guys this shower nobody else well has one like this one okay nobody's this this nobody has this design it's truly original to us and it's it's bringing us joy happiness and contentment to us it's a wonderful feeling it's a wonderful thing and I wish you all the same this is what spirit wishes for you as well okay work on your your personal things what makes what really resonates inside of you? It is time. It is time now. Even if it's little things. The whole land we have isn't transformed. But that part is now transformed. That little space is transformed into something we wanted. Okay? It's the one step forward of putting that special thing in that empty space. Okay? I hope this helps you Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I hope these readings are bringing you peace. Like I said, and as I promised this week, I want you to feel peace within yourself. So please leave me a comment. Let me know how it's going with you. Are you living in this, this sacred, beautiful, empty space? And if not, what are you doing to get there? I really wish it for you because this is a truly a wonderful space to be right now. Okay? You just have to cultivate it. Just cultivate it, okay? Cultivate it. Prosperity begins. Take care, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will see you in tomorrow's reading.